to several videos or, already with this general theme that, you know, may you live in interesting times, talking about the opportunities that are presented. And I always say that the opportunities presented are really self-selecting opportunities. And I know I've addressed this issue many times. And what I mean by that, it's really, you have to understand how people get, um, you know, become talented at a certain thing. They kind of select themselves into that community. Now, granted, if they're not really uh, capable of participating, they're going to know that pretty quickly, by the way. But if you're capable of participating in this community, it's a good place to go. All right. Now, what does that mean? You're looking at stuff like, for example, mathematics or maybe computer science or maybe something else you're interested in. And I guess I the YouTube's a great place to go, by the way. So I, I do bring this guy up a lot. It's, it's um, He has some pretty remarkable um, content. I think the most remarkable thing about his content, uh, some of his content, some of the videos go for 10 hours straight. So really, it's like he's working on problems in front of his audience for 10 hours. And I'd be honest with you, it's kind of brutal to watch that. But I do admire that because really the people that do well in any area are the people that can actually concentrate for long periods of time on the content that they're trying to get good at. And he's doing a good job at it. Certainly he makes some mistakes like everybody, myself included, as, a, as they're talking, by the way. And I know I do as well. So I write something down, it might be incorrect. I do try to correct myself as I'm moving along. But I do sometimes rewatch my video. I know I make mistakes, all right? That has happened. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll post of examples. It's the example on the law of signs. His video solutions I will post. But I'll also say that you should start thinking about creating your own content, all right? Now, that takes time and effort. I've been spending a lot of time and effort on this. I create my own video solutions to these problems over here as I would want my students at Essex County College to do it, though. The difference between me and this guy that's doing his examples, he uses a calculator. I do not use a calculator. So on my exams, there's no calculator use. But one is I'm kind of opposed to its use at this level, but the other reason is my department doesn't allow the calculator to be used. So I can't use it all right, on exams. However, I do know this. Most computations, uh, if they're difficult, are going to be done on a computer. So we also take my videos that I post, and then I talk about, well, if I did need, need to do a computation, I go, to how to, I, I go through how to use the computer algebra system. And I hope you pay attention to that and try to make some sense out of that. Thank you.